amaram ninguém me ninguém me convidou mamã o amaram ninguém me ninguém me convidou mamã I said God I know that one day you will make me happy you will make me smile again and God opened a way he led me to run for kill Africa and they make me smile We started in 2009 um with our breast cancer awareness program and it's grown into an organization Uh, initially when we started our focus was to purchase mammogram machines for deserving hospitals so that women could have a resource could have a place where they can go and get free screenings Since the beginning of the organization we have three main objectives which is to educate screen and treat women with breast cancer and we've been very successful at doing that so far. In 2012, we opened a, a secondary organization, Run for Care Africa in Cameroon, and by 2013, we opened another organization in Ghana. I came to know about Run for Care Africa right from after the mastectomy was done and then uh, it was time for me to go for the treatments run for care africa was always there to pay for the uh, drugs the injections and i'm so grateful to god for everything the first day before i met you people i gone round to the big churches nobody so if there was no run for care i don't know how i would have been every night when i sleep Midnight, I woke up. I will begin to cry. My husband will be crying. When I start crying, he will be crying. I said, I don't know that this is how my life will end. But the Almighty God used this very particular organization to help me, and I survived it. <laughs> I never knew that one day I would be able to sit down like this. Runners only. I need my runners only. It's very important so that we don't have a troubling situation at the starting line. I believe the run is yes, it's 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 a great fundraising mechanism and it's and it's our largest fundraising mechanism, but it's also our awareness mechanism. And now that we've created a strong enough awareness, it's now back into the treatment aspect. If breast cancer is diagnosed early, it can be cured. And the challenge we have is that most women are waiting too late. They are afraid, and yet you have to confront it because the most important risk factor is being a woman. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, what I have found in my dealings with the average Nigerian woman is the resilience of their spirit and it keeps me going. Mm -hmm.